The United Kingdom is gearing up for a snap general election on June 4th, following Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's announcement on May 22nd. As parties prepare for 650 seats in the House of Commons, they've outlined their stances on key issues like the economy, healthcare, immigration, and the UK's relationship with the EU. Let's answer some basic questions. Why is the UK holding a general election? Rishi Sunak called for the snap election dissolving the parliament on May 30th, initiating a period known as Burda, where civil servants refrain from announcing new initiatives. Candidates can still campaign during this time. What's at stake in this election? With Brexit aftershocks and pandemic recovery influencing voter sentiment, the outcome will shape UK policies and its global standings for years to come. This election is pivotal for the UK's future direction amid diverse party platforms and evolving voter priorities. What are the main political parties promising? The Conservatives, led by Rishi Sunak, aim to reduce borrowing, cut taxes, increase NHS spending and tighten immigration policies. You talk about cost of living, and that's why I, it's so important that we continue to cut people's taxes. Do you know how, how much so that's hard. gone up? And, and it's, this is, well, we've, we've had a very difficult time with inflation, and that's why my priority was to bring it down. But what I can tell you is I want to make those challenges easier by cutting people's taxes so they have more money in their bank account at the end of every month, and that's a choice for people at this election. You talk about inflation and prices going up. Well, when I became Prime Minister, inflation was 11%. It's now 2%, so that's my track record on bringing down inflation and easing those pressures. We're already cutting taxes for everyone in work this year by, on average, £900 and I want to go further. So for anyone who's struggling with a cost of living, what I want to do is give you more financial security, reward your hard work by making sure that we cut your taxes. You'll have more money in your bank account at the end of every month to spend on what you want to and support your family. And that's a choice at this election, because mm. if Labour are in power, your taxes are going to go up. So all of those challenges are just going to be worse. And that is why I want people to think very hard over the next couple of days, as if they want more money in their bank accounts, in their pockets at the end of every month when they're working so hard then it's the Conservatives and only the Conservatives that are going to deliver that for you. They currently hold 344 seats in the House of Commons and are polling at 20%. Labour under Keir Starmer proposes a new industrial strategy, healthcare reforms and a tougher stance on immigration. They hold 205 seats and are polling at 36%. Today we launched our manifesto based on the growth we need, the change we need, building up our public services, the NHS back on its feet, a Britain working again. It is a manifesto that rejects fundamentally the proposition that Britain can't do better than this. This is an ambitious plan for the future of our country, the change that we need. Britain can do better, Britain will do better, and with our manifesto and a mandate for a Labour government, we will take our country forward, and that will be felt in every community across the country. The Liberal Democrats, led by Ed Davey, focus on improving relations with the EU, renewable energy, and healthcare reforms. They have 15 seats and are polling at 14%. Never be able to fix the crisis in our NHS or get our economy back on track. And that's why I'm so proud that the Liberal Democrats have put health and care at the heart of our campaign in this general election and at the heart of our manifesto too. Because there is no doubt that both the NHS and care are in crisis. After years of conservative chaos and neglect, the scale of the challenge is enormous. So our manifesto doesn't shy away from that. We are putting forward a bold, ambitious and fully costed plan to tackle the health and care crisis from top to bottom. This is a manifesto to save the NHS. Fixing our broken relationship with Europe. Rebuilding the ties of trade and friendship. Boosting our economy and restoring Britain's role on the world stage. But. If we are truly to tackle the big challenges facing our country, from health to the environment, crime to the cost of living, there is one more part of our manifesto that is absolutely critical. Our policies to transform the nature of British politics itself. Ending first past the post and replacing it with fair votes through proportional representation. 
Because this election has to be more than just a change of government. We must do more than get the Conservatives out, essential though that is. We must transform our politics for good. So politicians have to respond to people's dreams and desires. Because that is the only way we will bring the real change our country needs. It's the only way we will deliver a fair deal. We've made clear time and again that we are a pro-European party who believe that our country's interests are best served by working with other countries in the mutual benefit. And as we say on that page, we believe in the long term uh, we need to be back at the heart of Europe. You know, getting a really good trade deal would be an absolute priority. Then, you know, allowing young people to be more mobile across Europe. There are lots of things set out in the manifesto about how we could re begin to rebuild that relationship, all going in a really clear direction. But it's going to take time, uh, regrettably, because the Conservatives have done such damage. The Greens advocate higher taxes on the wealthy, environmental policies and social reforms. They hold one seat and are polling at 7%. I'm in dis at the end of a long day of the last day of campaigning before the general election. I've been around all the market towns here in Waverley Valley and I've been getting a fantastic response as I have throughout the campaign. More and more people responding to the Green Party's positive vision for the future, giving people hope in an area where they've been let down by a party that's represented them for as long as they can remember. People are looking for change here in the Waverley Valley, a strong local MP who will be focused on their local area as I will be, and who wants someone who will stand up for them for restoring local services and defending our environment. Now it could be very close here tomorrow, every vote will count. So if you want to change, if you want a positive vision, if you want a hard-working local MP, please vote Green tomorrow. Please vote for me, Adrian Ramsey, before polls close at 10 o'clock in the evening. Please vote for hope and change here in Waverley Valley. Reform UK, formerly the Brexit party and led by Nigel Farage, aims to reduce bureaucracy, increase defence spending and toughen immigration policies. They have one seat and are polling at 18%. The Scottish National Party, led by John Sweeney, seeks Scottish independence, stronger NHS protections and EU re-entry. They have 43 seats and are polling at 3%. Both SNP to build a future made in Scotland for Scotland. For ending austerity, for scrapping the two-child limit and investing in our people, for protecting our national health service and building a fairer society for a future in Europe, not Brexit Britain. For empowering the people of Scotland, not further Westminster control. These are Scotland's values and the SNP's values. And these values are on the line. This election really is on a knife edge in Scotland. Vote for what you believe in. Vote SNP. Played Seamro, led by Rona Plorwith, advocates for Welsh independence increased funding and EU membership. They have three seats and are polling at 1%. How are the parties faring in the poll? According to recent data, the Conservatives hold 20% support, Labour leads with 36%, while smaller parties like the Greens and Reform UK have seen significant gains in popularity. For more on the UK elections, follow Dawn News English's exclusive coverage by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. You can also find us on Instagram.